we have high fidelity mannequins, computerized mannequins. So these mannequins can blink, they breathe, they have physiological responses, and we can change that based on what the learner or the student does. Historically, in nursing education, students were very passive, sitting in the class, reading about things, hearing about things. In simulation, what we're able to do is have a lot more of um, experiential learning where the students can have that hand-on experience, they can apply what is learned in the theory classes. When it happens in the clinical environment, they need to know how to respond. So those are things like traumas, um, cardiac events like heart attacks, uh, massive burns, things that, that happen quickly and they need to respond. We can give that, them that experience here in simulation. We can put them in those scenarios multiple times and that way when they do get out there in the clinical environment, they're ready. It's better to experience it in like simulations compared to real life situations because we're allowed to make mistakes. We have patients who have respiratory distress. The mannequins actually do cough. They speak to you, they respond to you. Being in simulation allows me to be more comfortable at clinical. I'm able to apply my theory into simulation and when I get into the hospital setting, I'm more comfortable and I'm able to work as a team with my other nurses. We also have computer-based simulation, uh, virtual simulation, and now doing the virtual reality where we can put multiple people in the same room. We can have other disciplines in that same virtual room and working through that clinical decision making, the problem solving, and, and some of that team-based thinking. We're able to provide additional learning experiences for students and have them better prepared when they get out there in the clinical environment. We previously didn't have that ability, but having these additional tools at our disposal, we're able to do that with our, with our students.